Laura says, I'm trying to use forums more often, as we all should be. It's great. Uh, mostly because of the translate features and it keeps us organized. I like to create the work as an assignment under the assignment tab in Teams. But is there a way that students can leave the form for a day or two and come back and complete it without losing their work? On this last assignment, I created my assignment in Teams as a forms quiz, and I checked and it seemed to save if you did not finish right away, but we are continuing to work on the activity today and there is a near revolt in my class because the work they did has now disappeared. The due date that I chose is not past due. I wish I could say yes, but at the moment forms does not allow you to be able to do a save. Um, and not unless you're in the full dynamics and you've got pro and you've got and you're in education, so you won't actually have that. Um, so you might have to look at a different way. If you know that you've got to come and go on something, forms is not going to be the solution for you. Yeah, absolutely. And um, the only other workaround I can think of is to create it in a SharePoint list and make a power app out of it. Then they would be able to go back and edit their um, their entries, but you know that would take some development, and I don't know if that's worth the investment for one assignment. But that yeah. is a workaround if somebody has the need to have somebody be able to start and stop on an on a submission in a form of some kind. Forms is friendly and helpful, but it it's not. It's meant to be more of a survey, one shot tool, and not a yeah. ongoing. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, no. the one thing that I have seen uh, that may answer part of this, uh, I mean, just a different way of looking at building out the forms around this, because I've seen people that have embedded um, a single form within a presentation that might have embedded video, use it as a training guide, and then it gets to a certain point, they fill out questions, you know, they answer questions there as part of the form, and it all goes back to one form. But you could create, you could chunk it up you could break it into pieces break that are separate into forms. Full part piece so over if, a couple of times. Right. Yeah. So if you think yeah. that you're going to, that you might want to have flexibility in breaking up that content, break it down into logical sections, create a separate form for each one of those. So then you kind of, you, you get past the limitation of this version of forms, the non-pro version. Yeah, yeah. I, there's a, yeah. we should actually ask the question. We should uh, post it to, to some of our Microsoft folks, Max, uh, or somebody who might know the answer, maybe Neil knows as well, um, whether some of the pro capabilities of forums are going to become an option for the education sector or something. But um, unfortunately, we can't answer that today. No. But yeah, and yeah. again, if you're creating that in multiple forms, it's captured in, in separate data sources, which could be an Excel spreadsheet, or you can use Power Automate to stamp it into a, micro, a SharePoint list and or Microsoft list and um, reconsolidate them. So it would be one yeah. entry per person, but the way that you know, if you break it up, it's going to be multiple exports and you're going to have to reconsolidate them if that's what you need to do for like a total yeah. score or something. That's why I say it. it's it's it, it, depending on your approach. If you think this is something where, you know, hey, I want to have have more flexibility then it's probably worth the extra time that it takes to do that setup so that you can deliver it more spread out and not worry about losing data. Just means that you need to finish a section and finish those, you know, uh, sub forms, you know, uh, you need to complete an entire survey um, before moving on to the next section. Yeah, or quiz, because the difference between the form and a, and a quiz is that you can add a right or wrong answer to the quiz as well as a, a score. So, you know, you do have that capability. People forget, you hit the little drop down. It's not just a forum, there are quizzes in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, but it's actually in the feedback. It's in the feedback portal. I mean, it's something that's been around right back since um, like 2020, you know, and I know that it keeps getting voted. Um, like at the moment, they allow the form respondents to, to continue to fill it out later. It's got 4,402 votes and 65 comments against it, and it's still <laughs> open. So it's something wow. that's been around for some time. They really want it, but yeah, yeah. I'm happy to put the link in and everyone can continue to vote. <laughs> yeah. uh, add it to the notes, we'll add it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah.